Yeah man, the man named Kana gun shot him. This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple, me. Why go on, my people? Hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing all right. Two things are going these days. One out of two things are killing no. them. Either gunshot or killing them or accident. The people, them not here. So, I can start with this one. A man was killed and three other injured in a crash on Richmond Main Road in Manchester on Monday night. The deceased and then identifies 26 year old Jaheem Reed. People who don't like here. Always feel. Listen to this one, I know, people. The police report that about 11:15 p.m. Long after curfew hours. Can remember them say curfew at 8 o'clock. An underfit motor car was traveling along the roadway when the driver lost control of the vehicle, crashed into a concrete structure, and overturned. The police were alerted, and all four occupants of the vehicle were transported to the hospital. Yes, people. Read that from the spot. But the rest of them was admitted. Yes, dead right on this part. Ask him friend them, him friend them can't tell you no. Because them know what you them feel. You understand me? No, no, where them come from. I don't care about that. Take on no time on the road. That's all me ask you no. You understand? Hold on the now, people. Me have a next couple of videos to go no because woman I walk on and a thief. Yes, she involved. So people want to see them slap them way. Business operators involved in the sale of drinks and alcohol beverage are being warned to be on the lookout for a woman and two male accomplices posing as promoter. The state level police has issued a warning after being alerted of their activities. The portal that the accused has been taking goods on consignment and failing to pay. The police said a 32-year-old woman is from a Kingston address and is wanted in several parish, including St. Mary. Westmoreland, St. Anne's, and Hanover. Oh, Lord, she a travel, man. She a travel. She so rich under the dirt. Just wait a bit. She going to mess with the wrong set of people. Them Just watch. A bench warrant was issued by the St. Andrew Parish Court after she absconded bail on a charge of obtaining credit by fault. She was convicted this year on the same charge in the Portland Parish Court. The police said the woman and her accomplice traveling a Nissan AD wagon or a Toyota Pro Box. The latest incident was reported in Hanover on October 1st when a business place was robbed of liquor valuing 571,000. Make I tell you something. She soon get to share work for her people. She soon get to share work for her when she get it. Me no want nobody come over here, come ball. And we are going to sit with the she and her cronies, them go right under the dirt. Can I say me never tell you no. So what I said and I mean, what I said and I not take you back. Hold on a bit, then I'm going to go over Linston. I'm going to give you some update for the local news. I'm going to give you the other day. Nicholas McNeem has been sentenced to three years and two months in prison for illegal possession of firearm in St. Anne's. He was also sentenced to two years imprisonment each in relation to two counts of illegal possession of ammo. However, he will only serve three years and two months because the sentence will be running at the same time. This was handed down by Justice Andrea Collins in the St. Anne's Circuit Court on October 22nd. Me know so I'm going to say only three years alone didn't get. But all of them and people are trying to go court and they never waste the judge time and just go and plead guilty. That's the way I'm lying to tell him to do. Good liar I'm off, man. But later I've been so good liar I'm off. You understand? So he's getting discounted rate. And then he tell them, say, yo, he's going to walk with a legal gun for protecting himself and that's why I'm off it. Anyway, I can continue. But for the people that don't remember about this incident, let me tell you exactly what took place. Police had arrested him and 19 year old Javon Clark on February 5th on Newling Street in Ocherius. An Axio motor car in which the two men were traveling in was stopped and searched by the cops. I slapped the police, them to that slap them with. Police said they found a 9mm pistol with a magazine containing 15 9mm rounds of ammo in the vehicle. Search was also conducted at McNeem's home at Draxall Country Club in St. Anne's and additional rounds of ammunition were found there, law enforcers said. McNeem's mother Debbie Walters, who operated a business in Linstead Town, was also charged. However, the prosecution dropped the charges that were laid against her and Clark. Jeff and Clark, I may attack, man. I know why the sad shot. I bet to the enemy money there's some people in the community that say a lie. They might come over and have a gun. They might good press a lie. The police, they might tell. I tell you something, you know, say it for yourself. Now, see them go and them play guilty. 
Police would have slapped them way. Last couple of weeks, we don't have nothing to celebrate. But guess what? We don't have something to celebrate right now. We have some good news for you. Yes, people. This is one of the best news we the longest while. Listen now. Jamaican sex offender in Bermuda give chance to fight deportation. Be glad for him. Over there, Britain. Right over there, Britain. Don't send him back. Make him win the case and stay with him. Don't send him come my yard. Make him turn over the member. I'm left Jamaica and show a big stone behind him, you know. And same God for a better life. So the better life over there, so with him. So make him fight in deportation and stay with part him there. But I give him the saga now. Jamaican man convicted of a serious sex assault 10 years ago while living in Bermuda has been granted an opportunity to fight his deportation by the Bermuda Supreme Court. Let me tell you something. Me want him win. Yes, people. Me need him to win. By any means necessary, make him win. My way from the airport, the docks, and the base, we no want him have no access to reach a Jamaica. No, 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 no. Keep him over there. Over them learning trade. Keep him over there. We don't know. You understand? Don't send him back a yard. On the mad. According to the Royal Gazette, Brighton Taylor, who served eight years for the offense, was to be deported to Jamaica. No, 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 no. We don't want him back. We don't need him. You understand? Give up on him. However, his attorney, Victoria Greening, argued to the Supreme Court in May that her client had not been granted a fair hearing about his deportation. Yes, man. Be glad. Be glad he had work for him. You understand? Just keep him over there. Matter of fact, people, I'm not even going to hear nothing about all this one there. All I need for do is keep him over there. Don't send him back to Jamaica. Make sure you make him win. He give all that money for go up on him case. Make sure you make him win. And speaking of winning, me I go show to somebody else who win. Another one bites the dust. Yeah, man, see the car there, the boy, teeth the car there. And look how I try to count the one way, and the man then back him up and go and shot him. Yeah, man, see the active police officer there. Yeah, man, the man then can and go and shot him. And go see the car there. I teeth him, him teeth the axe here. The yeah, boy teeth the axe and the man come down for him, bank him there. So, he don't know the runabout, like he don't know the way. And the most much I cope the one way. That's the way the police are telling me still. So, he get gunshot. Pronounce! You don't listen to me! The boy, the boy, the boy, the man uh, come and look like he's a license for your arm holder. So, he carry him and track us, so then just bind up him with gunshot. So, he carry the one there. So, the KFC right at the angel runabout there. Eh? Yeah, so the whole way I have to park up the line, yes, sir. Park up them a rotted line, don't yes, you yeah, understand? Get where them deserve, my people. Look a bit, most me come here and tell you no stupidness. Look at most me come and give them advice and say, yo, see people think I leave it alone, but no, 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 no. I want them see people think I trouble it. That is what me want them to do. Because many more of them are going to get slapped and go under dirt. And that to reach them. So you know what to do? See people think I trouble it. I saw no trouble it. Just make sure say, you don't know how a hole you not going. Because the nag far ago. Right down in a hole. Far, far, far down too. You understand? Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Come and check us out because we have holy more news for going now.